I'm gonna start posting TikTok videos of my after 40 dating experiences. This shit is fucked up. You are not gonna believe some of this stuff. Unbelievable. This is literally becoming a pandemic. And I swear we'll see these numbers grow. TikTok is gonna be full of these old women complaining about how dating is such a mess. <sighs> so, first story, here we go. Uh, been seeing a guy for about three weeks, texting on a regular basis, every day, hanging out, great times, great conversations, and then no text messages, nothing for like 24 hours. So I'm freaking out. I care. I'm reaching out. I'm reaching out. I'm reaching out. Nothing. No response. Until this morning. And then a phone call that tells me that he was getting death threats because he looked up call girls online and decided that, you know, he was just curious to see if call girls still existed. So he was conversing with someone. They wanted money, of course, and to run a background check on him to make sure he's not a cop. Okay. And then he decides, no, this isn't for me. I was just curious. So he says, no, thank you. And then gets death threats from somebody texting him saying, you wasted my girl's time and all this shit. That's the story I get this morning. I, I left Saturday and he said, text me when you get home, which I always do. And he responds to my text messages after I send him a message that say, I'm home. Nothing. Nothing. No response when I got home Saturday. And now this. Hmm. I can't make this shit up. I'm telling you I can't make this shit up. If you don't want to see me again, fine. Just tell me. What the fuck? What? Huh? I'm not... Don't know. That's, that's one of my stories. Stay tuned for more. Oh, I've got more. I could write a book. <laughs> I mean, you're the one dating the guy. You chose him. And interestingly enough, even after that, you're still expecting him to respond. So what exactly is your complaint? Dating in your 40s after divorce is like, yo, babe, age is nothing but a number. Yes, honey, that's what I said when I was 19 too. My doctor just asked me, is there any chance you could be pregnant? And I was like, well, I'll be giving birth to batteries if I am. <laughs> I had like the craziest, saddest thought. Um, I'm in the stage of life where I'm watching all my friends get married and have babies and find love and I had another talking phase yet again fall through. And my friend was like, you know, you'll meet the one one day, don't give up. But now I'm at a point where I hope I don't because what happens if I meet him and he wants kids and I'm too old to not be able to give him any. I am not a heartless guy, but I have more sympathy for this. Because I bet you earlier on there was a conversation when someone said, get serious, find a guy, settle down. And they said, oh, I'm an independent woman. And this is where it's led you. Y'all. I'm hurting y'all because I want to be loved. I want marriage. You know, a lot of us get on here, we act tough and we be like, I don't want a man. I don't need a man, but I want help. I want to be loved. I want somebody to love me. I want somebody I can be vulnerable with. The problem is, and I'm not crying y'all because I'm sad. I'm crying y'all because it's like a release right now. But the problem for me y'all is that all the relationships that I had with men were not about love. It was about survival for me. I know how to fuck. I know how to cook. I know how to clean. I know how to seduce a man. I do not know how to love a man. And then... 
to have a son because of those choices that I was making y'all and I got pregnant really really fast I got pregnant within 90 days of knowing my baby daddy and we don't talk about this shit because it's embarrassing and it hurts it fucking hurts and I'm mad with me I'm not mad at men I'm not mad at I'm not mad at my life I'm, I'm, I'm mad at me because I don't know how to fix me I don't know how to fix it that's that's accountability that's the shit that hurts is realizing that hey I got some shit with me that I don't know how to fucking fix and in turn because I don't know how to fix that shit I'm fucking up other people around me that's accountability that's the shit that we don't put on social media another thing that's terrible about dating in your 30s is and just dating in general okay so I was talking to this guy in this app and he said something about sending him a selfie to like know that I'm real or something. I don't know why people are so weird about that. Like I have photos and I'm easily Googleable. Like I'm verified on social platforms. Then maybe use those social platforms to educate yourself on what's happening in the dating marketplace. People like being catfished. So yeah, we definitely want to know if you're real or not because it could be fake pictures. It could be a fake name even. So yeah, send a fresh photo with a newspaper that's got today's date. So we know it's you. Okay. So he sent me like a selfie like this, laying in bed. And it's been like gross out and I've just been lazy. So I was laying down and I kind of was like, and you know, I have no makeup on. I'm wearing like a t-shirt, whatever. He literally views the photo and then unmatches me. <laughs> like the photos of my, on my um, profile, like, I barely have foundation on in most of them. But, like, I don't think I look that bad. This is not just about how you look. You have to understand people don't appreciate the idea of being lied to. So if your actual self does not match the photos that you have online, then don't be surprised by people's reactions. Because you're selling a lie. And when they finally open the product and see that, oh shit, it's a lie, of course they're going to be unhappy. I've been called a post-wall woman twice. The Urban Dictionary defines it as a woman who has passed her fertility window and has become very unattractive to men. After women hit 35, they are basically a post-wall woman. It's like they hit a wall at full speed and they got their face all messed up. It's interesting how people can come up with such creative terms to tear people down. Too bad they don't come up with such terms to lift people up. Oh well. Okay. If you, I mean, immediately too. If you do not respond when I text you, it's a problem. And I am not playing. This must be a man thing. They don't get the text. I got the text. I get the text all the time. And I can respond to the text. And I send it to For my time, if you're going to waste it. I like to talk, text, FaceTime, chill, fuck, go on dates, go out, go wherever. Have adventures. Lay up Netflix and chill. Get my booty rubbed on. You know, all that. If that's not what you into, if that's not the activities that we're finna partake in, cut it. She belongs to the streets. <laughs>